Hi guys, I'm Alex from Island Dog Obedience. I just wanted to hop on here today to piggyback off of a post that we made on Instagram um, with the quote, you get the dog, you pet. I believe that I first heard that quote from Jeff Gelman from Solid Canine Training. He came out here for a seminar back in 2019. Um, what we're seeing a lot of, a lot with our clients is that our clients are giving too much affection or giving their dogs affection at the wrong time. Um, they're using physical affection to calm their dogs down. So let's say your dog is gets scared of a stranger that approaches or gets scared because um, a loud truck goes by or because a skateboard goes by. They use physical touch or physical affection to try to settle your dog down. Um, what that actually does is it reinforces the fear um, that your dog is displaying towards the stranger, towards the loud noise. Um, I know as pet parents, it's really tough. It's, it's human nature to wanna hold your dog when they're scared or pet your dog when they're scared, but it actually just reinforces that fear. Um, also, what I see a lot of is when dogs are showing reactive behavior on leash, um, clients will tend to use physical affection again to try to settle their dog down again you're reinforcing the reactive behavior whether it be aggression or whether it be from over arousal um, you're reinforcing that reactive behavior uh, another time um, when I tell clients try not to pet your dog um, is when the dog's demanding it so your dog will put its paw up on your lap um, or nudge you with its nose and if you show your dog affection when she demands it or when he demands it um that's what you're reinforcing the dog is learning that hey every time i demand attention from my owner he's gonna give it to me um so you're you're reinforcing the neediness of your dog or for the need for your dog to constantly be touching you um with a lot of our covid dogs right now um a lot of our clients have gotten puppies during the shutdowns or the stay-at-home orders your dog is constantly following you around the house constantly able to touch you, see you, um, be with you. Uh, the biggest thing right now I'm telling clients is do structured kennel time. Um, teach your dog that it does not need to follow you around the house. That kennel should be in a separate room. Your dog shouldn't be able to see you. That way when things go back to normal, your dog feels com comfortable and confident being on its own again. Um, but to piggyback back to um, you get the dog that you pet, also, a lot of dogs learn to be super excited around humans because that's when they get pet. That's when they get love. They think that every human is there for them and there to show them love and show them affection. So we get a lot of dogs in the board and train um, program or even just in lessons that are overly aroused by people. Um, so a good way, again, to kind of stop that pattern behavior is to teach the dog, hey, you're not going to get pet by everybody. You just need to hold your stay. You just need to hold your down. You just need to hold your heel or your place command. Um, I want you guys to start using physical affection to reinforce behaviors more so that you want. So when your dog's laying down nice and calm, give him some love. Be like, yes, that is what I want. I want to reinforce that calm behavior, not the over over excitement or the over arousal um, when people come into the house or when a loud truck goes by. Um, use physical affection when your dog's making progress. So let's say your dog used to be terrified um, walking by a garbage can or a dumpster or something like that. If your dog is now able to hold the heel, st go ahead and stop them. Give them lots of love and affection and then continue on your walk. You get the dog that you pet. We use physical affection as positive reinforcement. So make sure you guys aren't using it to reinforce other behaviors that you don't want the fear the reactivity the over excitement the neediness demanding attention the separation anxiety you don't want to reinforce those kinds of behaviors um if you have any questions or think that you might be reinforcing some of these more negative behaviors please give us a call or send us a message we can get a trainer in to work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you with your specific needs uh, specific troubles that you're having with your dog right now. Um, each dog is very uh, specific, different um, individual. So again, 
If you think that you're reinforcing possibly some negative behaviors with your dog and you need some help or some guidance, please shoot us a message and we can come in and help you with that. So again, remember, you get the dog that you pet. Don't reinforce negative behaviors with physical affection. Use physical affection to reinforce those positive behaviors and the um, positive changes and progress that you're seeing with your dog.